I'll tell you why. Hold, hold on a second. Let's, uh, let me show you something. Now we're just going to move away from this vulture a little bit. Now, there goes another vulture that just took off from that tree. That's not really what I'm worried about. Just give me a second. Now, I've spotted another bird of prey. Now, this makes me curious. Uh, let's see if we can get it from here first. I don't want it to fly away. Straight ahead, Senzo, you've probably spotted it already. There we go. Do you see that? That is a Batelier Eagle. You see it sitting in there. Now, why I say I'm curious is because the Batelier is actually a scavenger. Batelier and Tawny Eagles are both scavengers. And they often will go and get to a carcass or a kill before the vultures do. And the reason for that is these eagles fly a bit lower than the vultures and their, their eyesight is also very good and they will try and get in and scavenge off a kill before the big vultures arrive here we go you can see it again. so as a oh. <laughs> Senzo just had a little moment there, quick. <laughs> Yana, you asked, what is my favorite bird of prey? And that is a uh, martial eagle. Martial eagle is my absolute favorite. Now, this, uh, as I was saying, with these, well, the sign of this uh, um, battalier eagle around, I, I don't know, I think... Because now there are a lot of vultures around, so that would make me think. Because there is a bird of or bird of prey that's a scavenger, a um, a little battalier eagle, and then of course these vultures are around, dotted around here. I wonder if there wasn't anything that that maybe died of natural causes. I can't smell anything. I haven't seen tracks of anything. There's no sign of lions around, so I I don't know. I don't know. However, this little area that we are in, I think these Batelier, I think they've got a nest nearby. I know even James used to see them around here. Yeah, there was a juvenile Batelier around for a long time in this area. So I wonder if they don't have a nest nearby. That would make sense. And then the few vultures dotted around, possibly just resting for the night. Um, if there was a carcass, we may see them fly down and, and sit on the ground, possibly. If there aren't any predators around. I don't hear anything, don't smell anything. I don't think there's a carcass here. But it's always good to have a look. Now Snazzy, you asked if different scavenger birds would fight at a kill. Uh, definitely, Snazzy, definitely. Now, the best examples I can give are... Usually what happens is the birds to arrive first at a carcass, the birds of more uh, uh, scavengers, it's, uh, let's say the, um, the vultures for example, you'd have the hooded vulture, they often get there first, because they are the smallest of the vultures that we get out here. So they arrive first, then often the um, white-backed vultures will arrive, and if it's a big carcass you may get... Do you want to get the sunset there, Senza? Do you want the silhouette with the vulture? Okay, hold on a second. We might have a beautiful silhouette of a vulture on a dead tree with the sunset. Oh, this could be very good. Senzo, we might be a little too low. Uh, hold on. What about that? Senzo, is that okay? I think that's lovely. Look at that. Yeah, you know, vehicle positioning, Senzo. <laughs> Um, so as I was saying, Snazzy, the, the hooded vultures and the whiteback vultures often get, um, get to carcasses first. But, um, but the leopard-faced vultures, when they arrive, these other vultures quickly make space for them. Those are the largest vultures. They can get quite aggressive. They're really big, really powerful. And I've seen these other vultures move out the way very quickly. So, yes, they will definitely fight at a carcass and chase one another away. Um, 
And then, of course, the big marabou stalks. They may chase a vulture or two away, or they'll feed on one side and let the vultures feed on another side. Lovely silhouette of a vulture. Ah, oh, Laura Moore, you say the cameramen are such artists, they are indeed. But this is a lovely view. Can we brighten it a little bit? And then let's just see. Mm, that's beautiful, that's beautiful. No, that's fine. And there is our sunset, our afternoon sunset.